Hey pilots, it's always a pleasure when you tune into our devlogs. Last time we got a ton of feedback and some awesome questions. So, once we get through our regular updates, we'll be answering some of your comments. But first, a quick recap for the first timers in the audience. These devlogs are about breaking down the future of Mac Arena. We'll be covering a bunch of content and features, though most are still in early development. They can change dramatically before release and some may never see the light of day. Let's quickly go over the stuff we covered last time and how it's doing now. Custom Match has been a huge hit for both players and content creators. We've already organized several community events that would not have been possible without this feature. And we hope to do even more once Mac Arena launches globally. We've also seen a spike in one-on-one -on -one or team versus team custom matches. As Ben here mentioned, it makes it way easier for groups of players to fight against each other in the same battle. We're thrilled to hear that you guys are forming clans already. Community effort is a major part of Mac Arena, and it's something we want to encourage. As for rewards, though unfortunately we have no plans to add those to custom matches, it would invite win trading and other exploits that would hurt the community in the long run. But don't worry, we'll keep on improving custom match based on feedback and game metrics. We'll keep you guys in the loop. Another awesome bit of content that got released is the Arachnos Mac we promised last time. Though we'll still gather in feedback to see how it works out, we hope it adds something new and unique to the tactics of Mac Arena. Feel free to tell us what you think about Arachnos in the comments below. As always, we welcome your feedback. But enough with the recaps, let's take a look at some of the new stuff we've got in the works. We are still working on the free-for-all mode and disk launcher. While there isn't much new stuff to show for the launcher, we do have a small teaser for free-for-all to share. Here's our game designer playtesting the first map for this mode. As you can see, there's a lot of carnage. As for the content that's coming up a bit sooner, global launch is right around the corner and we've got some fun events prepared to celebrate. These will offer up all the usual goodies, as well as some really awesome unique skins to boot. As you can see, we're aiming for sports as this summer's theme. Killshot is basically a Formula 1 star already, so we felt it was fitting. The Panther is not far behind, looks as sleek and awesome as ever. And here's MD, as a pit stop assistant, also very appropriate. And yes, Hero Brian, that's exactly what MD stands for. In other news, we're also working on maps both old and new. Not too long ago, you might have noticed that we released a much improved version of the Mac Arena map, with better textures and sharper design all around. Well, Paradise Plaza and Forbidden City, once called Dubai and Neo Hokkaido, are getting a similar treatment. While we aren't changing the balance or design of the map, we are adjusting the lighting, textures and a lot of the objects in the map to really make the region pop. There's going to be a lot more stuff in those barring corridors. They won't block bullets, but they will look great. Forbidden City will also be getting a bit of a makeover, but it won't be nearly as dramatic. You can look forward to some lighting corrections, better textures and generally stronger theming throughout the level. We are not just rehashing old stuff though. There are new maps in the making and we can give you a glimpse of one we are putting together for 2 vs 2 deathmatch. We don't have a name for this map yet, heck, we don't even have textures, but the overall structure has been established and playtested by our game designers. The main objective here was to find a balance between fun architecture that allows for multiple approaches and variety tactics, while still making sure you aren't spending a decade looking for your opponent. That's never fun. The initial design was more maze than map, so our designers closed off a few passages, streamlined the most obvious attack routes, but also added a few surprises. See this hole over here? You can jump through if you get caught unprepared. Then you can take a roundabout through the tunnel under the staircase to fight again on better terms. Clever lancers can also use the hole to jump behind the opponent, catching them unprepared. Lancers will actually have a lot of fun options on this map. Not only can they do the tunnel flank, they can also hop atop the building at the center of the map, or use their jump jets to stick to the periphery and get around quickly. Don't let the simple shapes fool you, this is just a sketch of a map. The actual objects and buildings will look a lot better once the environment artists get a crack on them. The process of making new maps is actually pretty cool, and that was just a taste. If you'd like to see a dedicated video where we go into greater detail, we'd be happy to put one together. Let us know in the comments if that sounds interesting. 
Now, before we wrap up, we wanted to answer a few questions that you guys asked between the vlogs. We actually have a regular Q&A post on our social media, so you can also keep an eye on them to stay in the loop. Mixed and Meshed mentioned they'd want to see a story campaign introduced to Mac Arena. We are not saying it'll never happen, but right now we are focusing on the PvP content. New game modes, mechs, weapons, maps and so on. PvE will have to wait for a bit. Though we are excited to hear you are interested in learning the story of Mac Arena, we'll release more lore content in the future. Thanks for detailed suggestions, Philip. Capture the Flag is cool mode we definitely like to consider, though at the moment Free For All is our top priority. This one we've answered before, but it came up a few times. We already dabbled in adding controller support to Mac Arena, but it turned out to be a bit too difficult. It's hard to justify rerouting the resources we're putting into the features. While it's possible that we'll address this again in the future, for the time being it's not in our cards. Sorry for the bad news, Biz Rankin. Alright, let's wrap this thing up before we ran too long. We hope you've enjoyed the glimpse of what's going on in Mac Arena and be sure to leave your comments below and let us know what you've liked and what you'd like to see more of. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your fellow pilots. We'll see you next episode. And we hope to do even matches. It would <clears throat> or it wouldn't, who knows. Another awesome bit of content we got released in the Arachnus Man promised last time. Panther. Panther. We are not just rehashing. Hush, 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 hush. We don't have a name for this map yet. Heck, we don't even have textures. We don't have even actually to show you, there's just a blank screen. But Jesus, do you have even the imagination? The initial design of, uh, was more maze than maps, so design. End. The end.